the Library of Babel. It's a website built by Jonathan Basile that currently offers everything that has been or could be written. Seriously, divided into pages, it is built to produce and locate on demand any 3200 character combination of English letters and the comma, space, and period. Basile has organized it all into hexagon-shaped rooms, each with four walls of books containing five shelves with 32 volumes of 410 pages each. Everything's arranged in a pseudo-random fashion, so browsing the online library feels like a treasure hunt. Here's how it works. Each page is given a unique sequential page number in base 10. The text on each page is encased inside this number. An algorithm Basile created uses the page number as a seed to generate a unique big number. That output is then converted into base 29 so that it can be represented using every letter in the English alphabet as well as the comma, the space, and the period. This is what you see on the page. Basile has made sure that the algorithm will produce every possible combination, and the same page number will create the same output every time. Which means that what is on each page is already predetermined. So, in a way, every page already exists. It only needs to be looked up. And here is the really mind-blowing thing. The contents of a page can be converted to base 10, sent through the inverted algorithm, and turned into the exact page number they're found on. It's a truly eerie experience, because you can find the permanent location for any 3200 character text. You can find in this library the description of your birth, every possible description of your death, Every poem, every joke, every lie, anything that could be said can be found on this site. This thing blurs the line between invention and discovery. Did you really discover or invent that thing if its description already existed? 10 to the 5,000 different pages are offered by the Library of Babel. In comparison, there are only 10 to the 80 atoms in the observable universe. I searched for what I've just said, and sure enough, in this hexagon, on this wall, this shelf, in this volume, on this page, it's there. Hello. <laughs> but deep down, we feel like there's a difference between this program permuting something unknowingly and a person actually meaning it, intending it, saying it because they wanted to with agency. We use a finite number of symbols to say things. For that reason, a library of every finite combination of those symbols can be made. But just because it can be made doesn't mean it has been said. That is the power we have. Perhaps you and I were born too late to explore the world and too early in history to explore the stars, but we were born at just the right time, which is pretty much all times ever, to explore language, to explore what can be said. What should be said? What should we send out to space? What that can be said will you be the first to say?